Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tracy Gork, Light, Hope, and Healing. I'm a healing coach, energy healer, and spiritual mentor. This week's topic is keeping yourself in a higher and happier, peaceful vibration. So, that being said, what's happened for me and um, some of those around me is I've noticed, you know, we have days where we get low, we have days where we get high. And I'm trying to make it more of an even keel for myself and my family and even my clients. So what I've noticed is doing affirmations. Now, that being said, I haven't always liked affirmations because I'm like, oh, you're just saying, and like, then you go on with your day. And it didn't work, in my opinion, right? So recently I've noticed, and, and the more I've worked on myself, the more I'm able to open up and understand things, right? So it really came to me where I understood how to have the affirmations help. It's about, first of all, healing your trauma. But so they can go together, right? So if you just start even saying the affirmations every day, this will help you, even if you don't feel it's different. Because the more you get to it, the more you start to feel comfortable with it. And I think some people feel uncomfortable with the affirmations because it's like, oh, well, I'm not supposed to be happy. You know, you're, you're feeding from your trauma that's happened to you. And it doesn't feel comfortable. It doesn't feel like maybe you should have joy. Somewhere in your unconscious or your conscious, you don't feel you should have joy or you should be happy. So... Start with saying affirmations, and you can find many online. Just look up affirmations or make your own. But with the affirmations, you want it to be in the moment right now. Not the past, not the future, but in the moment right now. And I have one for you that I really liked. I expect good things to come to me. Thank you. Isn't it wonderful? I get everything I want. Everything is working out for me. So let me say them again, these are all separate. I expect good things to come to me. Thank you, isn't it wonderful? I get everything I want. Everything is working out for me. So say those and believe those. And then, like I've said in my other videos, if you've watched any of them, look for the good in everything. Be grateful for little things. And then you're going to see this difference in your life. It will change your thoughts. It will change your mindset. And it will draw more good things to you. Okay? Affirmations, I've decided, are really important. And it's something I've added into my life now. And I can see a difference already in my mood and how I deal with people and how I function throughout my day. I go through my day with a smile on my face, right? And I used to think, well, they'd say it, well, just go through your day smile. I'm like, okay, well, this happened to me. But the thing is, once I worked through some of that and I was able to see it, I do, I smile at it. I believe the things that I am calling to me are going to happen. I believe it. And I smile when I think about it, right? So think about this life you want and then visualize yourself having it. And then smile as you think about it throughout the day of it being there. Just be giddy and excited about it. And you're going to see this difference in your life. I promise you, like I can see it in mine. Now, all those of you that are saying, well, and you don't, let's just say, fine, you don't believe in the manifesting, you don't believe in the affirmations. Try it. Because if nothing else, you're going to feel better inside. Okay? But then, in turn, you're going to be drawing and manifesting in your life, I promise. But let's just say, because I was a negative Nancy, and I would be like, oh, well, that's not going to happen. But what I noticed is once I did start doing it, and once I really started, really started doing it and feeling it, healing the traumas from the past, and allowing myself to feel joy, and now allowing myself to feel happiness, Allowing myself to see what my future is going to be because I am manifesting that future. It feels amazing. So just do it. Just, what does it hurt you to feel happy? What does it hurt you to feel gratitude? What does it hurt you to try and visualize this future that you want? How does it hurt you? It doesn't. 
What hurts you, though, is sitting in the past, sitting in the trauma, sitting in the anger, sitting in the grumpiness, just sitting in the blah, not being happy. It affects your health when you do that. It also affects your health when you are happy, when you see the beauty, when you are grateful. It raises your health. The other declines your health. So what are you going to choose? If I, regardless if I'm wrong, what are you going to choose? The happiness, the joy, the gratitude, or the anger, frustration, sadness, stress. What are you going to choose? You have the decision. These simple things change your life. I've seen it. I've seen it with myself. I've seen it with my family. And I've seen it with my clients. So try it. Try it for a month or two and see how it changes your life. Add it into your routines because that's where it comes in too. We start doing it and then something throws us off or we have to get hurt. Because, you know, life's not going to be perfect. But you can make it better by not focusing on the negative things that happen. Focusing on the positive. So keep doing it because we, we can fall off the wagon of doing it. So what you need to do is just keep doing things that help you. Stay in the higher vibration. Stay in a better mood. Looking for the beauty and the good around you. Alright? So I hope this video helped. If it did, and but you feel like you need more accountability, I have a membership group. On Mondays, I do a message just for the group, a spiritual message. On Tuesdays, twice a month, we meet in a Zoom and I answer questions and have topics that you guys give me. And on Wednesday, you post what you want healing sent to in the Facebook group, and I send healing to you. We'd love to have you in there. All the links are below um, to join if you would love to, or you feel like you need more help. So let's get ready for the healing meditation. If you are driving or using heavy equipment, stop the video now and come back when you're done driving or using heavy equipment. All right, so let's get ready. Go ahead and close your eyes. I want you to take a deep breath in. Hold it and exhale. Take another deep breath in. Hold it and exhale. And one last deep breath in. Hold it. And this time on the exhale, relax your whole body. I want you to imagine blue light now coming down into the top of your head. It goes down into your heart. I want you to imagine red light coming up your spine from your root chakra into your heart. Those two colors are going to mix and to make violet. So that violet is in your heart. Now imagine that violet turning into a flame, the violet flame. I want you to see that violet flame spreading out and getting larger and larger. It now moves down into your stomach. It sits there for a minute, cleansing, clearing, and purifying, and it's going to move back up into your heart. Now I want you to see that violet flame getting larger and larger and larger until it's as big as your whole body. And now I want you to imagine it being as large as your energy, it just keeps getting larger and larger. You know your energy goes out from your body. So you're sitting in this violet flame. Alright, I want you to imagine now gold light coming into the top of your head from God's source. It's going all the way down into your heart again. Now I want you to see this gold light getting bigger and bigger, filling up your whole body, your physical body. It's going down your arms all the way till your fingers. It's going down to your stomach and up into your head, down your legs. And when it fills up your whole body, now it's going out into your aura filling it with the gold light. You just see it filling all the way up till the edges of this gold light. So you're in the middle of this gold light. 
Just feel the peace and calmness of it. All right, now I want you to imagine all the people that have harmed you. It's all right because you're not gonna have to be around them, hang around them, see them, talk to them if you don't want to, but you need to heal the situation for you. So I want you to send healing from your heart up to those people right in front of them. So you can't force the healing on them but you want to see it, send the healing for you and then it's there for them and I know this is difficult for people who've had really a rough time with people you know if there was a lot of abuse going on but this will help you heal and then it's there to help them because they need healing too but it's only there for them if they want it so you're gonna send this healing from your heart to them but right in front of them, you're just going to imagine it right there in front of them. So it's there for them if they want it, okay? So go ahead and do that now, sending healing from your heart right up to in front of those that have harmed you. Now I want you to add doing the same thing for people you may have harmed. Same thing from your heart to them, just putting it right in front of them if they choose to pick to take the healing. So do that now. And remember it's just right to in front of them so they can decide if they want it. When you feel that's done, bring that healing back into you. Now I want you to bring gold light into the top of your head again. It's going to come from your heart, through your heart, and I want you to send gold light to all of your family. Now add sending gold light to everyone in your city and state. Now add sending gold light to everyone in your country. Now add sending gold light to everyone around the world. Alright, when you feel that's done, bring the gold light back into your heart. Sit back and relax and I'm going to send you healing now. you feel any twitches during the healing, that's just energy breaking through the blockages in your body.
side. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Hold it. And then on the exhale, release everything that came up that needed to be released for you. Open your eyes. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. So, that's what I've got for today. Go have a great day. Go and do something you love, something that lifts you up and brings you joy. Whether it's watch a movie, run outside, walk, sing, dance. Just do at least one thing every day that brings you joy that you love. And then do at least one self-care, whether it's drink tea, Epsom salt bath, pray, meditate. Do at least one of those every day. And then look for the good in everything. And when you see something in somebody, say it to them. And then finally, write 10 things you're grateful for. Do these things, guys, and I promise you, you're going to start to see a difference in your life. All right, I love you all, and I will see you soon.